What's good y'all fusion here back with another reaction video uh, today we're going to be reacting to get up um i mostly want to hear what kendrick perkins has to say um and to be quite frank i don't really care what the rest of the cast really has to say but um anthony davis had zero impact on game two is what Kendrick Perkins says. I agree. He went four for 15 from the field, but I don't think it's all on Anthony Davis. Um, I don't think you're going to win many games when when you know someone um, can't hit threes and they still shoot six threes and miss them. Not many teams are going to win that. For the same reason that I think Clay Thompson lost the game for the Warriors, shooting bad shots, bad shot selection, shooting a lot of shots, and um, horrible misses causing, you know, um, fast break points because like they're three, so they're usually gonna hit off of the rim harder or cause for a longer rebound. Uh, and he's shooting bricks as well, so you know where that's uh, where those land. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Um, Rui as well. He played well. Rui Hachimura. Um, yeah. Rui Hachimura played well. As well as Austin Reeves. Um, those two have been keeping us afloat as of late. Um, another mediocre game from D'Angelo Russell. And v Vanderbilt. He, uh, he was out there, I guess. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Something that I don't ever remember seeing before when watching LeBron James, and that is seeing LeBron James look old. And yes, his numbers are there. Yes, his defense is there. The guys are going to fight back on me on it. But I'm talking about just what I saw with my eyes. I saw a guy, look right there, just didn't have enough energy to just get up to the rim. We see him miss a breakaway dunk. We're seeing him defend it easily going to the basket when he used to be an absolute freight train going to the basket. And with every other day, you wonder, is the battery drained? And can he fill it back up again? He can give him one performance, but night after night, what we're used to seeing from LeBron James, I don't think we're ever going to get to see again. So for me, it was the first time I was reminded, and I've never noticed it before, but I was reminded for the first time that he is 38 years old. And as he walked off the court, you could see Father Time put his arm around. See, this is why I was in the skip, bro. I just want to hear what Kendrick Perkins has to say. Um, the reason that LeBron didn't play well is not because he was looking old. The reason is because of those three-pointers. He has never been a great three-point shooter. He can knock some down. But he has never been a knockdown great three-point shooter. And he continues to shoot them. For some reason, no one is calling him out on that. Yes, he missed some layups. Yes, it, it did look like he, sh he was showing some fatigue. Um, it did look like that he uh, was a little flat on a lot of those layups. He wasn't actively jumping. But that happens. Um, we've seen LeBron miss some layups. Here and there, and I don't think it was because of his age or just like whatever the case may be. He's shooting bad shots, and they're not going in. That's the main reason. I know if he would have hit at least half of those threes, I don't think we we would be having this conversation at all. But yeah. On his shoulder and say, "Man, you are am. asking for perk. Perk, what do you think, man?" What up, perk? your mind if you think last night LeBron James showed us all the time he's catching up with. That was not the case. We have to look at what the Lakers are asking him to do. He's getting nothing from his point guard. The Correct. Andrew Russell has been a complete no-show. Dennis Schroeder has been a complete no-show in the first two games. Mm -hmm. You asked Correct. LeBron James to run the fourth forward at 38 years of age. He had the guard Much because 
because others are not stepping up to the plate. Now listen, did he settle last night and did he shoot the ball horrible from the three? Yes. That has always been my um, criticism, criticism, excuse me, of LeBron James. He settles a lot. He will set up for the, um, especially once he got to Cleveland the second time, he started, uh, started to settle quite as well as um, Waldo right there, I guess. Um, but he will take the let FU3. He will take that. He won't really go to the, um, get into the paint much. That being said, I do think that uh, uh, um, the Nuggets have a lot of bodies to throw at LeBron, size-wise. Aaron Gordon, he's athletic enough and he's tall enough to get in his way. Um, Michael Porter Jr., he has length as well. Jokic not being a athlete, but still being big enough to be in the way of of the paint. So they have like a way to to defend that paint well, and it may be looking like, hey, why don't I just take this three? LeBron needs to be always on attack mode. It looks like that again. These Lakers are not ready. I've been saying this, and for some reason, these other niggas got you fooled. Just because they beat two, um, just because they beat Memphis, who literally, I've been telling y'all that this was a first round exit. They ain't ready. They're too young. I was surprised that we beat the Warriors. I really was. But that does not change the fact that this Lakers team isn't ready. D'Angelo Russell, too inconsistent. Anthony Davis, he's made of glass and he's inconsistent. Jared, Jared Vanderbilt, zero offensive presence. It does not cover enough for your decent, decent defensive presence. You can hit a shot. Take the shot, bro. I've been saying this since the beginning. I need seven and seven out of you. Two of those rebounds need to be offensive rebounds. Cause that's what seven points and then you get two offensive rebounds those can be converted to threes that's an extra six points possibly so that overall improves like your value as well as adding your defensive uh, prowess slash present austin reeves can't be the only one who is consistently performing rui hachimura cannot be the only person people on this team consistently performing yeah, LeBron had 20-something, but he took six threes and didn't make a single one. But as far as looking old, I didn't see that. I saw a guy that was landing all out on the line, was required to do a lot because his teammates are not stepping up to the plate. Quick call out. Y'all saw how slow Jokic is, bro. You can out athleticize him easily. Out athletic. You can out athlete him. I don't know if athleticize would have made sense, but you could definitely out athlete him. Anthony Davis should be out athleting him. DeAndre Aiden, you should have been able to not not look like a little kid out there. You got embarrassed, and it's sort of funny. Because now we're holding LeBron James to everybody else's standard. Any other player would have been tired. LeBron James, not any other player. And he never used to be like that. I'm holding him to his standard. I'm not saying he's a bum now. I'm just saying it's the first time that I've watched him and thought he's not what he used to be. I'm not, I'm, this is not, this is not a hot take to try to take down LeBron James. I'm just saying it's, it, that jarred me watching him at the end of the game thinking to myself he's not who he used to be anymore because he can't do all the things you just said he can't do it all he used to but he can't anymore well, I thought, that's the reality well i thought he did a pretty I, I, I thought he did a damn good job of actually going Jokic and making it tough on him uh last night 
right. He did. That's a tall task. I thought yeah. he did a great job of actually orchestrating. Orchestra I'm talking about, but I'm saying when he was guarding him, Jokic is going to get the triple double, Allen. But I'm talking about boys when LeBron James. Uh, just to pull up the stats. I mean, Jokic had 23. You know, that's that's good defense. He he was present on defense. It's just hard to stop Jokic, bro. Jokic shot 43%. I, I'm, I'm wondering how, how much of that was due to LeBron, um, him being there defensively. But he also shot three threes and missed them all. Uh, that being Jokic. So... That's true. Anthony Davis That's true. Yeah, I thought it was a, I thought it was a winning performance from LeBron last night. He had 22 points. The three, the three point shooting was bad. He had 10 assists. He had four steals. He had two blocks. Jokic was 0 of 5 with three turnovers, and he was directly guarded by LeBron. That was the big um, emphasis uh, by Darvin Ham was to put LeBron on Jokic with sort of Anthony Davis as the backstop. Um, I agree that in 2016 he might have scored 37 points in addition to that. So he, he does need help. Um, he is uh, that chart that we showed where his shooting is falling off. That is an indication of him resting on offense while he's pouring it out on defense. That is essentially what's happening. And so he needs Anthony Davis or D'Angelo Russell or whomever. And I really do think if Anthony Davis doesn't go for that's not true. He doesn't. He needs to stop shooting those threes. <laughs> like, you're never going to win games like this in the fourth quarter shooting one for 20. Because you know he's going to take them. Jesus. Five for 21, eight for 23. I actually wonder how that like compares to other, other people who play like him, I guess. Um... I guess that would be a Paul George or Kawhi Leonard. Um, not really three-point shooters, but we'll take a three if open. That fourth quarter drop-off is sort of nuts. Well, it is later on in the game, so I could see how that could make some sort of inflate of the stats. But I think that's a interesting stat. that game when that game ended the first thought i have was man that's his first time so you talk about settling right settling for threes he doesn't drive the basketball as much as he used to anymore he's under 10 drives per 100 possessions his worst before that was 15 per 100 so he's really not driving the basketball what's the reason for that it's not just defense it's also the idea that i just don't have it in the tank no no i don't believe it's just because he doesn't have it in the tank but lebron has always settled he's always settled once he got a decent jumper, he realized, hey, I don't have to go to the paint all the time. He has always done that. So this football ass looking ass uh, analyst don't know what the hell he talking about. LeBron has always settled. Not saying it's, it's bad. I'm glad he has like developed some sort of confident jump shot. Because in actuality, if that was Ben Simmons, I think we'd be singing a different tune. If that was Kevin Durant, I think we'd be singing a different tune. I just think him, he's always been the person to take the jump shot or the pass out or the take the fade away or the three. It's not many times. Well, you said back in the day he did uh, like 15 possessions of actually getting to the basket. I don't. I think that should be up to 20. I think he could easily drive almost every single down uh, time down the lane. Now, of course, 
you would have the Giannis situation where you just build the wall, but I'm not saying he shouldn't like develop a jump shot. He should use the fact that he can shoot the jumper to increase him going back to the uh, back to him going to the basket because that will force people to have to jump out on him. And usually when people jump out, you can use uh, the quick step, which he has, and the strength, which he has to get to the basket and score. Even the way he shot that, he didn't even look like he he wanted to shoot that. That has always been my problem with Anthony Davis. Effort. You know, I always joke around with him being hurt. Injuries happen. He he does get hurt often, but whatever. Like, that's basketball. On the flip side, there are times where I just see him just standing around or taking lazy jump shots, settling for jump shots. You have enough footwork and enough in your bag to, to destroy a lot of these power forward slash centers they put on you. Draymond Green should have been barbecue chicken for you that whole last season. You should have tried to expose Jaron Jackson Jr. You should be down there trying to expose Jokic. And from what I see, that ain't looking like no expose. Last game, you played well. You do that, though. Like, you'll play excellent, and then, like, the next game or so, you just, I don't know, take a game off. And you're like, oh, you have the same as the James Harden effect. James Harden don't have... One or two games out the series, well, he just goes to vintage James Harden. And then after that, he pulls a disappearing act. Anthony Davis, you need to be getting 30 a game. That's the only way that the Lakers are going to win. You need to get your 30. So LeBron, he's going to get his stats. Be it on bad shooting or not. He's going to get his 20, 5, 10, and, and 8. He's going to get that. You need to get your 30. Because Austin Reeves and Rui Hachimura, no matter how well they play, won't be able to win um, many. Uh, they won't be able to win a uh, full series by themselves. They're not going to. So you two definitely need to step up more. A LeBron, I would love to see you take three threes, um, especially when they're not hidden. And Anthony Davis, figure it out. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and end it here. There's not much else to really say. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see, see you guys later. Peace.